Hello, that there is a new album from Brooke Fraser. It came out on Monday, it's called Albertine. And so in keeping with that, we're at a historic house in Mount Albert, Auckland called Alberton. You see how that works? Yeah, yeah. Hi, I, like, Brooke. I like that. I'm very well, thank you. Brooke was back home briefly to promote her second album, which was largely inspired by the time she spent in Africa last year. Did you go to Africa because it, you were asked to go, or was it something that no. you instigated? Um, yeah, it was something that I just felt like I, um, I really needed to do, and I, a place I really needed to go. Um, and I was, you know, 21 at the time, and I was like, yeah, sure, it'll be fine for me to get on a plane to Africa by myself, um, which was stupid, you know, in hindsight. I realised when I was sitting in a, um, a hostel in the middle of Rwanda with, like, a bathroom that had probably hadn't been cleaned since the place was constructed, like, for years before, and I, um... I cut my finger when I was changing my guitar strings and I had blood everywhere and I went to wash my hands and realised that the water wasn't clean and, and I was just like, I'm a little bit over my head here. I should probably tell you at this point that the record is named after a little girl Brooke met while she was in Rwanda and even though much of the album was inspired by her travels, she doesn't want the story to be seen as a gimmick. It's hard, I guess, if you're saying, like, you know, you don't want it to be a gimmick, a thing for you, um, a press yeah. story, and yet it's the, you know, the name of your album yeah. alludes to it, and as soon as people do, like me, yeah. get wind of it, you know, we do want to know, because it is interesting. Totally. totally. I think I really love that that's the title of, that it's another person's name right next to mine. The same font, exactly the same size, like not one more important than the other. Um, and it does mean that, you know, that's the first question that I get asked. And I love that because it's not, you know, we're not sitting here talking about what my favourite, like whether I favour stilettos or wedges for this season, you know, like we're talking about something that actually matters. Um, but at the same time, it's finding that balance between talking about it, um, but still keeping some of those things sacred and for mm. myself. So I'm still, I don't have it figured out yet. Like I'm still kind of figuring it out as I go, yeah. It. It's a pretty unique kind of a lifestyle. Yeah. Is that so, are you happy with it? Is it something that you feel like you can just carry on doing for a long time? I love it. I think I, I'm, you know, like you said, I've been involved with, with World Vision stuff long before, you know, albums or anything. Um, and I've never been content just to do one thing. Like, I think I need to do... And, you know, for this for this time in my, in my life, like, I'm young now and, you know, it's not going to be... It's, like, the time... Who knows how long people are going to give a crap about my music or what I have to say, you know, like, it won't be forever. So now's the time where I need to, you know, definitely have my, have my attention on this and give, do this, do this time of my life really well. But, you know, I want to get married and pop out a few babies and, um, you know, do, there's a whole bunch of stuff that I want to do and life is long or short and the world is big and small and so it's kind of um, living and navigating all that and just making the most of every day and loving people. Thanks very much, Brooke. Thank you. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. Bye, everybody. Bye. No, go now. See ya. Don't worry.